welcome to i love pharmacology today we'll see about what is idiosyncrasy so specific learning objectives are you should be able to know the definition of the idiosyncrasy you should be able to identify to which type of adverse drug reaction it fits into with the examples so coming to the definition of idiosyncrasy it can be defined as an abnormal response to a drug action because of genetic mechanism or due to unknown mechanism so it is the abnormal reaction to any kind of drug due to genetic or unknown mechanism in other words it can be defined as an genetically determined abnormal reactivity to a chemical so most of the times these abnormal responses will be considered to be due to genetic cul genetic mechanism unless otherwise it is proved and these type of reaction will be restricted to the individuals with a particular genotype so how do you differentiate between the idiosyncrasy and the allergic reaction idiosyncrasy has got genetic basis whereas allergic reactions have got immunological basis so this idiosyncrasy is a type b adverse drug reaction which is bizarre in nature qualitative type of reaction it's non it's a not dose related effect it's unpredictable in nature the symptoms and signs of abnormally seen responses are different from expected known pharmacological action of a drug so the rest the signs and symptoms which you are going to see will be different from that of the known pharmacological effect of the drug so examples of idiosyncrasy are so the example for the abnormal response due to the reduction or absence of certain enzyme activity examples are salicylates primaquin sulfonamides can cause hemolysis in those patient where rbcs will be lacking g6pd enzymes so one more example is the which is mediated through unknown mechanism example is chloramphenicol which induces serious aplastic anemia and the third example is quinine or the quinidine can cause cramps diarrhea purpura asthma angioedema of the face hypotension in some patient and even the barbiturate barbiturates can cause excitement and mental confusion in few individuals thank you